So yeah, working with uh, Alex Post um, and his brother was definitely a great experience. Um, so Challenge Fitness, uh, back, you know, Rob's gym, you know, started working at Rob's gym also around the same time too. That's the uh, Iron, right? Yeah, Iron House training facility, being an independent trainer there. That's where I met Jeremy as well and a couple other really solid, co you know, colleagues, uh, Ian as well. Um, clients doing my thing and then of course 2016 rolls around um, around this time because of course you know I was uh, so heavily trying to get into GATS it's like 2014 right guess at the time it was just GAT and then it became GAT sport around 2016 so anyway um, going to expos uh, Gold's Gym, going in various places, working out, uh, as well as training in Iron House. Um, I go and complicate things and um, went out dating again. And uh, that's when I met my daughter's mom. Um, around this time, of course, you and I kind of had a falling <coughs> out for a little while. And we took it to places we shouldn't have, but you know, that's brotherly shit, it happens, you know, with family, it just does. We're not proud of it, it's just, it's part of our history, and it's part of the journey, because this is where he missed out a lot, that I wish, to this day, he could have been a part of it, got to see, the, you know, the demos, and maybe going and traveling with me to a couple places, or even... You know, we still travel out when we get our chance. No, but you know what I mean, like, like, I mean, like now, but I'm yeah. talking about during this time, because this is was I was at the peak of everything, kind of like getting everything I kind of wanted. Once this is, uh... Yeah. You know, so. we'll be back out traveling. Well, of course, of course, of course, of course. Doing our thing. And of course, like, we're, like we always do, you know? But, I mean, this, like I said, that's a new journey, but yeah, I mean, my daughter's mom, and, you know rushed every single freaking thing possible didn't take my time and anything didn't learn her or nothing like that moved in right away yeah all that stuff um end up like completely leaving the antelope valley but still working out here for for at least about until about 2018 wow. here and there you know like i would go train train uh you no know, yeah i would come train craig and all that and you know, still work. You know, still, so. still working through it and doing your thing, yeah. pretty much. Uh, um, with the weight. Yeah, um, I got picked up by Gat Sport in 2016 in December. Um, uh, found out that we were having a kid because we only were dating for me about four or five months, and then she, I guess our daughter was conceived in October. We didn't find out till we we didn't find out till like November or something like that. Um, that she's pregnant so you know jealousy like again I'm not gonna sit here and talk ill about these people like no matter how bad the situations were you know but to get what I wanted I still worked out I still trained um, that's when I started going to the world's gym and met a lot of other great you know people my boy my boy O and uh my boy Ocean and uh, Vic and all those guys out there and started, you know, because I was in the, uh, not exactly the San Fernando area, but more in the La Crescenta area, like Sunland, Tahunga and all that. Um, you know, looking back at it, it, it's strange because it's like, how do you talk about a full 20 year history of every single thing, but, you know, because I don't like leaving out details, but this is just a brief stint of just what 20 years was like. So I'm trying to bodybuild. I'm in a toxic environment. Um, she was very mis distrusting, had a lot of issues, anxieties, things I didn't find out down the road, you know, try, stuck around trying to make it work. Times I would be homeless because I would leave. I mean, where did you meet her at? On a website. <clears throat> Shut up, Curtis. I know. Now I wish this was vodka. And I don't even like vodka. <laughs> but anyway, so being with the wrong person, and again, not saying that I'm any better, but brought a lot of ugliness out and kind of changed my characters. But no matter what, I still kept it on the low. 
low pro, I'd still show up to my demos, do expos. Um, my daughter's mom even ended up getting picked up by Gat Sport um, at an expo. In fact, this is right after my daughter was born, about a month later, our daughter's taking the first plane ride. We're going to uh, San Jose. And um, what took me three years to beg and sing my way in, she got the job and got hired in three hours. Wow. Think about like this in hindsight, let's just say. No, was she, was she kind of in the fitness area as well? Uh, was she pretty no, fit or? I was, well, she, You know, I never had the opportunity to, um, to meet I, her. I don't want to sit there and like be judging body types, but she'd work out. Like, don't get me wrong, she would. She'd go to the gym with me to think, because, you know, I was out there being with other bitches. I still want to know who my bitches are, but that's neither here or there, but that's just her level of jealousy, right? But there were times that we did go and we had a good time and there was other times we had bad time because, you know, a girl would pass by or whatever. But anyway, back to the story of San Jose. So she gets hired three hours later and then, you know, I started picking up the team because I had my friend Noe from Team Righteous. He got on a gas sport. The guy I was staying with when me and my daughters wanted to fight. Um, he just lived literally across the street, across through the park. Uh, his name was Mike and we would go and, uh, I'd stay over there when things were bad. And then um, finally in, uh, I want to say almost practically 2018, it turned ugly, real ugly. Um, I ended up like literally sleeping on the streets of uh, the Tahunga Sunland area. Literally, like on church properties, you know, like doorstep stuff. And during winter, freezing my ass off for at least about a good solid month. And that's, I got that's pretty tough. and I got tired of it, so I called I called Jacob, and then our other brother, <coughs> our, our younger brother, and I am staying with him out in uh, Hemet. Got back on my feet, got a car, all that. Um, he helped me out for a little bit. He let me use his car, so. I end up uh, going back to my demos, doing my expos, like back to the hustle mode, back to back to working out, back to training myself. Just jumped right back in. Yeah, everything, everything just kind of going back. So around this time, I'm like in my, I think my going into my finishing up my first, my second year with Gat or first and a half year. Anyway, neither here or there. So running with Gat, um, Representing hard, uh, I end up, uh, you know, just bouncing from place to place, but still making it work. Worked at, uh, was it became a trainer for a short stint at self-made training facility out in Temecula. Um, working out, trying to bodybuild, doing my demos, kind of like just dealing with the situation of life, right? Um, and anyway, so. To make a fast story, you know, kind of go quicker. Um, right around, I want to say April is when I was given an opportunity to I should compete. So, th so this is where now we're getting to like the 2018 my failure to compete. So I go and do my thing. I end up working for the guy. I end up living. I end up living with our other brother Eric for a little while, and then because things with his girl and stuff like that so I had to move and I understood you know it's family and you know when you have somebody I get it I don't I don't hold resentments I went back to my brothers for about two weeks and then um, I ended up getting back to Riverside started doing construction um, got back on obviously training doing demos trying to compete trying to do all this stuff right so I was I can't sit there and say like the opportunity wasn't there because it was, it gave me a car, things like that, but trying to do construction, working, being slave driven, working for a guy who pretty much owns you, you know, it's kind of funny how it, it sounds. It makes things kind of tough on Yeah, you. when pretty much, you know, your life is not your own, he controls pretty much almost every move because you live with him, and everything's under his thumb and his way. So it made it really tough on the journey. Yeah, so needless to say, I started messing up diet-wise and things like that. But I still would try. I still would, you know, push it and push it and push it. It wasn't until about, because I was going to do the Anaheim Fit, Ex at the Anaheim Fit Expo. So I was going to work Sunday, <clears throat> but not Saturday. I was going to do the competition and represent Gat and all that other stuff and everything like that. Two weeks later, I just kind of fell off. 
And then um, two weeks before the show, I just quit. Wow. Yeah, two so, weeks before the show. Yeah, um, Mike put a lot of work and a lot of help in me. And at that time is where I kind of like, I felt that regret. Because after seeing the competition of who was up there, I could have took second. Seriously, as, as is. I didn't feel confident. Again, this goes back to confidence and not having those structures of like self believing yourself and confidence and all that stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, when you see me, I have a certain level, like, depending on what I'm doing. But internally in my mind, when the lights are off and everybody's away, I have my demons of just constant, you're not good enough, you suck. Look at your life, look at everything you've been through, look at all that. You're not wanted, you know. Your daughter's gone. Look at you now, motherfucker. Seriously, like, I, our minds can be our own worst enemy, especially yeah. at dark times and dark places. So it can, it can, it can be really ugly. So, you know, um, I spent a lot of that time from my gap years being homeless and a lot of people didn't know it. Bouncing from place to place to place to place, being homeless, living in my car, all that shit. Just pure, like, nightmare. Well, 2019, the only thing I could sit there and say is that I kind of squandered my opportunity to get towards the end. Um, I'm not, I kind of got on my high horse piece because, you know, I'm so competitive and everything else like that. Not saying that I was bigger than the company, but I'm going to say these around my team that I helped build and create. I, I, I would tell my personal shit, and I should have kept that shit to myself. I think, yeah, we're best off. You know, and we that's... We tend to do that a lot. And that's not... I can't sit there and say that...